you're going to get this procedure done, do not go during allergy season. Don't do that to yourself. Munching my way up to the top, to the top. Miss Munch, 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 Munch. Hey audience, hey guys, what is up? It's Miss March and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of a LASIK update. First things first, I fucked up. I did not do a one month update or three months or even six months for that matter. So I'm coming to you guys with a seven month update. If you guys have not seen my video on my actual LASIK procedure, uh, feel free to check it out. I will leave the link below in the description. Viewer discretion is advised, it is a little bit graphic. There's a couple things I've noticed in the months since I've gotten my LASIK surgery done, and so I'm gonna share them with you right now. So let's just go back to the beginning. So I actually got my LASIK procedure done in early December. My procedure itself went fairly well. It took a couple attempts, as you know, if you've watched my video on it, um, before they could actually make the flap on me. You'll notice if you get the procedure done right after, or at least for me, my eyes were kind of stinging and I felt like I could not open them. So I literally had to keep them shut for like hours following the procedure. Later on that night, I was able to open them and I was able to do little things like read um, certain signs and read what was on the TV, even though technically you're actually not supposed to watch TV for the first little while. They give you like a whole sheet on what to do and what you should follow in terms of your recovery. Overall, my recovery was pretty good. I did have that bloodshot eye that lasted about a week, a little over a week. And I would say probably about a month or so after my surgery, I started to notice floaters in my vision. Now, at first I was a little bit concerned because sometimes sudden onset of floaters can indicate vision problems or vision loss. What my eye doctor thought is that really I might have had these floaters all along, but now because my vision was so clear, I was able to notice them. So that was really the main side effect, so to speak, that I've had since having this LASIK surgery. I notice them every day. It's not a lot, but it's like a few dots that every now and then when I look up, they kind of just float like that. Floaters are basically liquefied clumps in the vitreous layer of your eye, which is the gel-like layer. I think that's what, how you describe them. Uh, don't judge me, I did not get my degree in ophthalmology. When that passes over your field of vision, that's what you see as being a floater, basically. You can Google the rest for the details, but that's basically what it is. Pretty much gotten used to them. Do I regret getting LASIK? Absolutely not. Um, I would 100% be completely content with seeing a few floaters um, in my vision and having perfect vision versus going back to glasses. Okay, so my vision was pretty bad before. Do you guys see this beautiful beach right here? Neither can I. This is roughly how my vision looked before LASIK. I couldn't see for shit. And after LASIK? Ah, so much better. This is how I see now, guys, with a couple floaters every now and then. I've dealt with the occasional dryness every now and then. I just take my eye drops more frequently. I've gotten better at those, to be honest with you. At first, it took me five tries because you know that your girl has a strong blink reflex. That's why I struggled with the procedure in the first place. The other thing I'll say is I have been getting a lot of eyelashes in my eye. What you really don't wanna do, and what is basically your worst nightmare, is if you get an eyelash in your eye during that period of time where you're not supposed to rub your eye. You are not supposed to rub it for one month at least following the procedure. And when I first saw that, I said, I'm absolutely fucked. I think there was one time closer to the end of the month where I actually almost got an eyelash in my eye, but I was literally able to scoop it out with my nail before it actually got into my eyeball. But yeah, you really wanna try and avoid that because you cannot rub your eye. Also, <laughs> If you're going to get this procedure done, do not go during allergy season because as I said, you cannot rub your eye for one month. Just imagine you got allergies and your eyes are super itchy and you're just dying to rub them for at least a few seconds and you can't. Doesn't that sound like a nightmare? That's why Dr. March says, do not get this procedure done during allergy season. Thank me later. You're welcome. Don't do that to yourself. One of my friends had LASIK surgery done and she got an eyelash in her eye just a couple days later. She actually had to see her doctor to get it removed. So God help you if that happens. Over the past month or so, so around my, my six month mark, I've just been getting so many eyelashes and it's always these fucking bottom eyelashes. Almost every day I'm, I'm picking them out. Um, but that's just something maybe I'm noticing more now, not having glasses. 
my vision is actually 2010. My doctor, when I saw her, she had me read out the line and that was the line I was able to read. It was a little bit of a struggle still, but I was still able to get the letters correctly. It's just honestly surreal, a dream come true. And people who cannot see properly and have a poor prescription like what I had, they understand the struggle of having to either wear glasses or contacts. And so when you're in a position where you have to wear neither, it really truly is life-changing. This is the first summer I've spent in 15 years where I've been able to see. I could actually go in the water and, and be able to see when I come up above the water. So it's really truly life-changing. I, I do not regret it one bit, but yeah, uh, just a short, sweet little video. I usually try not to ramble on too much. Um, it is hard though, it's the Caribbean in me. I like to talk. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I will respond to the comments um, and I will subscribe back as well. Let me know if you have any further questions if any of you are considering this procedure. Thanks for watching guys and until next time guys, take care. See you in the next video.